Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 7 Part 10. This is Ron Moore along with Raven Specter. Greetings and salutations, all you taters. Yeah, don't be a tater hater. That's right. Now, we are in Skull Castle to face. Don't, we're not faced Dr. Wally quite yet, but we defeated all the eight robot masters and now we're at the Skull Castle. Skull Castle. Hmm. Isn't this where you have to fight each one of the bosses before you actually get to them? Yeah, they usually do that in Mega Man games. I'm sure they do it here too. Yeah, no doubt about it. I always hated that in games, man. How it's like, yeah, well, here you are. You already defeated these bosses, but we're going to have you fight them all again in a gauntlet style battle. And I'm just like, oh, crap. Yeah, I hated that. <laughs> I'm like, really? Like, is that necessary? Yeah. That's that's the day. That's the days when you actually were glad that they had a uh, code breaker and Game Shark and Game Genie and things like that, so you could just be invincible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this. Oh, what the heck? Why did it go dark? Whoa. Oh, wait. What? So you step on those platforms, it gets dark. That's kind of whack. Was this Dark Man stage? <laughs> it might be. You probably have to face. You might be the first one you have to face. Yeah. Well, I could use Thunderbolt, but no, I could just... Oh, come on, landed on that, man. You gotta be kidding. I just uh, keep jumping up and down, up and down to see where everything's at. Yeah, I won't have to waste Thunderbolt. Th Thunderbolt Patterson. <laughs> Thunderbolt Patterson. <laughs> Thunderbolt Patterson team and Pat Patterson team up, the Pattersons. <laughs> Speaking of Thunderbolt Patterson, uh, I believe actually my uh, girlfriend's dad ended up meeting him because I believe he got his autograph. Because um, he actually has a couple autographs from a few different wrestlers. He also took some pictures with Lex Luger, and he has like a couple championship belts. He's a really big wrestling fan, and I saw that he had like a, a signed picture of Thunderbolt Patterson hanging on his wall at the shop that he works at. Oh, cool! Oh, it's it's the same wrestler I'm thinking of. Dang it! So, oh, oh, that was stupid. I was trying to avoid the spike tire, and I found the spikes anyway. Got him right in the toe, and he exploded. So that part. Everywhere you step on, it gets dark. Jeez. That blows. Look at the background. It kind of reminds me of Sigma, Sigma, Sigma's Fortress a little bit. Yeah. And the color scheme in this castle kind of does remind me of a bit of Sigma's Fortress. This stage has a cool track. I hate those things. Those things where I think Mega Man 2 or some of the older Mega Man games will pop up in the pit and get you. Sure. Uh, making a big return in this one. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, a little bit too, uh, too early. <laughs> yeah, I like to hear a power metal uh, ballad of this. <laughs> yeah, power metal gamers on YouTube. Indeed. I'm pretty sure you can do it with flying colors. <laughs> yeah, that's one bad egg. Yep, definitely is. Eggman. Oh, wait, that's in Sonic, I guess. <laughs> uh, here are two of my biggest fans. <laughs> I remember freaking Johnny Swinger in ECW. He was standing in front of a fan that was on. He had on full power, and Simon Diamond goes, What are you doing? Can't you see one of my biggest fans is blowing me? I'm like, Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, crap. That's awesome. So what to use the yeah, rush coil to get over there? There we go. Awesome. <laughs> Robotic Scooby Doo. Uh, more of these platforms, jeez. No oh, flipping around. I'm about to flip. Oh jeez. Plus it gets dark. Dang, Capcom had a dark sense of humor right here. It's one thing if you happen to go and. Just ride them across in the dark, but knowing they flip around like that, that makes it even more challenging. Yeah, reminds me of Bright Man stage. No, he played Mega Man Four. Uh, no. All right. Oh, what? Uh, what? Was, Man, well, how, how, how am I supposed to jump the screen, the the roof or the invisible roof that you, uh, knocking me off right there? I can't jump high enough to jump over that gap. Yeah, Mega uh, Man Four. Mega Man 4 is a bright man stage and things get dark there. Yeah, it's a cool stage, and uh, but this one, I guess, pretty much took a page out of Bright Man's stage, uh, Bright Man's book. 
And what a broad idea to put this in this game. Yeah, I honestly have never uh, played much of the Mega Man games. I've played very little of them. And what little I have played of them, knowing how it seemed, how challenging they were, the challenge just kind of just threw me off and I just couldn't get into them. Um, but knowing that uh, I believe Mega Man 10 or something is actually going to be on the NES Classic, uh, NES Classic, SES Classic, uh, yeah. I, I believe I'm going to give it more of a shot and we'll see how it goes for me. I don't know if they're going to include one Mega Man game on there or two. I'm not really sure. Yeah. And I'm an idiot. I could have just used Rush Coil right here this entire time for this part. Dumbass. <laughs> Wait for some new uh, people post new comments. You're a noob. Get good. Get yeah. good. <laughs> That's where you come in and say, F you. Yeah, exactly. He don't need to get good. He's just playing because he feels like it. He's not yeah. trying to impress you. <laughs> it's about us having different skill levels and different lives. It's not just about get good. Shrug your shoulders with a funny look on your face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly how I see people like that. They're just, they, they're just freaking stupid. Freaking I just, condescending. I, I had to deal with one of those people in William Graham's group a while back when I was failing at Mario 64. Man, this is easy, fool. What's wrong with you, fool? And, like, basically saying, get good, kid. Yeah, exactly. I say, you know it would be easy if you shut up. <laughs> well, hopefully, we'll have better luck this time at this stage. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. And see, I don't... Uh, see, I don't have the uh, rush jet here. I didn't collect it earlier, so... Jeez, I'm going to have to figure this out. What would be really cool is if you had some type of power or something that would just light up, uh, like put a spotlight over you or something, give you a little bit more. And see, how am I supposed to get past that part where there's no room for me to jump up over that gap? Um, BS. Uh, anybody in the chat room? Uh, oh, wait, this ain't this ain't live, dang it. Uh, we're doing it live. <laughs> we're doing it live. It's 2K Live, Man 7. <laughs> People come to the chat room. Do this, you idiot. Do that, you yeah. noob. Get yep. good. <laughs> I should make you a moderator. If anybody comes in the chat saying that you're the get good poner, you pony anybody that says get good. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> instead, instead of the band hammer, you give the band finger. <laughs> the band finger, yeah. I've never actually been a moderator in one of those chat rooms before, so I don't know exactly how how that would work. How, oh, how yeah, really. Just right click on their name and click ban. Oh, okay, that works. <laughs> Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, I'll just rush through this. Hey, that works. Yeah, so I got, now I got all the items. You can get, you can go online and look for a password generator for these Mega Man games and get any password you want. Nice. So now I got all the power-ups. Oh, it just keeps freaking spinning. That is such BS. Yeah, oh, this is, yeah, such a pain. If you watched, I forgot what part it was. I think it was Viper and Jeff in the part with me. I, I, the way I died on one of the stages, I, f I forgot the Robot Master's name, but it was funny. It's like an elevator thing, and you got to use a Thunderbolt to power the elevator, and I got crushed when I, it took me up to the ceiling. I was like, oops. Uh, All right, now I'm fighting Bass or Bass for the second time here. Maybe bass this, or Bass, yeah. Maybe this guy will shut up here. Boss. I still like how Mega Man 8, Mega Man goes, Bass! We don't have to fight and interrupt him. So he goes like, Bass, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mega Man wins round one. All right, so the stage is still not over yet. Jeez. Excellent. <laughs> Mega Man, I guess he's got it's a fan on his back. Look at all that. I got everything now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so who are we fighting here? Well, let's see if I've got the guts. Guts Man reincarnated. Wow. Fighting Guts Man again in Mega Man 1, and then Mega Man 2, you fought him as a giant guts dozer. And then now here. Actually, you fought him again in part. Uh, no, you don't. Never mind. I'm thinking Mega Man 3, you fought the enemies in part 2 again. It takes a lot of guts to beat him. So the ceiling is coming down. So if it came all the way down, wouldn't it end up killing him first, knowing he's just, he's taller? <laughs> right. Yeah. Good point. 
I guess it's a suicide pact thing. Like, yeah, I'll die, but you'll die with me. <laughs> right, yeah. If I'm going down, you're going down with my... You're going down. You're going down. Pearl <laughs> yeah. River Plunge. <laughs> yeah. You're going down with my... With my, with May Young? Oh, ooh. And give birth to another hand. <laughs> well, give her a hand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I think Cl- Clarence Boddicker from Robocop would love to have been there for that. <laughs> I'll buy that for a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, tell you, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what I'll buy for a dollar. and the, ne- the next part, that's a failed segue. Uh, we'll see you guys in part 11 with more Dr. Wally Castle action. Until then, God bless. Take care. Adios.